Hello everybody, my name is Sierra 21 and welcome back to the fourth episode, is it now? I'm pretty sure it's our fourth episode of my Terraria 1.3.5 Let's Play. Uh, when we left off, I um, defeated the Av Cthulhu, I actually owned him in quite an intense fight because I, I was supposed to buy shurikens and I completely forgot so I had to buy them in the middle of the flight and then we fought him again and we failed because we ran out of time during the day and I just, I, for some reason my stupid brain thought I could beat him in a minute 30 that that, that did not happen but anyway so since last time you uh, we left um, I obviously got a few chests from last last um, last video's episode so I've also I've just made this from blocks into just block or blocks and walls to just blocks and then walls here. So sorry, excuse me for that burp. Uh, but yeah, that's really all we've done uh, since then. But obviously we used our demonite bars to make the molasses or the malaise, the molassi. I do not know what you call it, but we got an unpleasant one, which means we have uh, 17 melee damage. And I just realised that we do have a. Um, uh, Demolitionist, which means we're gonna just quickly go over here and we're gonna buy some bombs. So with these bombs, I'm just gonna buy 30, nice even amount. So uh, with these bombs, we are going to uh, go to the corruption, which I'm pretty sure we find. Have we found the corruption yet? Uh, no, we have not found the corruption, but the jungle's over there, so I'm assuming the corruption is indeed over at this side somewhere here. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, yes, I realize it is night time, but we are okay with that. Uh, I also made my piggy bank over here, which means we shouldn't encounter it too much within the next while, because there's no way my chests are gonna fill up there probably until hard mode. So yeah, um, obviously I pre-record these episodes the night before, then I edit them and render them for the next day. Uh, so that's really what we're gonna do. So I'm going to skip until we have made our way over to hopefully the corruption on this side so uh yeah let's see you in my guys all right guys so we are officially in unexplored territory now uh there is a massive another massive tree but once again for some reason every single tree i find in this um world it seems to be hollow i do not know why but it seems to be that or not hollow sorry it seems to be like a solid tree um, and we're looking to be finding a thing over here, a uh, desert, which obviously is a chance of getting a desert temple, so that'd be nice. But probably not, realistically. We're probably gonna just, yeah. Okay, so it was just, it was quite a small one. Let's make some torches, as I did not think about that before going out. Uh, Fifteen will do. But yeah, um, we're hoping to find the corruption. Remember, and for some reason we completely missed that. But yeah, we're, ho we're hoping to find the corruption. Hopefully we'll find it sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, I will cut until we hopefully are able to find this corruption. Okay, guys. So instead of finding that, we find the dungeon. Nice. So we, instead of finding what we wanted, we end up finding this dungeon. We got a coin portal, though. Ho, ho, ho. That's what I like to see. Is it a fifth? It's a 15 coin portal. It is a 15 gold coin portal. Oh my god, that is the biggest coin portal I think I've ever had. And obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind just trying to find a cheeky little water bolt while we're here. Hopefully, we can. Obviously, we don't have to mine the books in PC, as we can indeed just find them other ways. I don't really feel like going down there. But uh, yeah, we've basically explored the whole whole of this world we've got that wee bit there so i guess we could have a corruption but i don't think it could um i don't know i feel because the jungle's over here so if the jungle is over here hang on just give me a second let me find the jungle if the jungle is over this way then i don't understand how we're supposed to have a corruption over that way as well i don't know guys let's i'm gonna keep exploring over here and maybe hopefully find this damn corruption so we can go do the thing i wanted to do this episode talk to you in a minute guys okay so yeah like i thought there will be indeed no corruption over on this side of the map which means is do we have a real corruption or is it like i, I don't even know man i don't even know so we must have like a corrupted jungle or something oh a shackle oh that's nice i actually have 
a free slot that will bring us up to uh, seven defense. Now I was angry as well, so that's actually quite good. But yeah, no sign of a corruption on this side. Um, I guess I'm gonna wait until the um, day comes back, or like not the day. Yeah, until day happens again to explore the other side. I guess. All right, guys. See you in a minute. Alright guys, so I have decided to sell my Keen Spear on my breathing rate here. Um, I don't know why, it's just there's really no point in having them. Um, obviously I can get them back quite easily if I ever need them in the future. Maybe if after we complete the game, because I have said that I, so, I want to do a semi-completionist series. So yeah, I'm going to try and make use of a few of these extra um, chests just before the daytime comes up. And yeah, I guess I'll meet you when we're heading into unknown territory on the right side of the map, which would be over here. And somehow they're going to be able to give us a corruption right after a jungle, which I did not know was possible. But you know, it's rare it can be rare sometimes. So, yep, see you in a minute. I have to say, this um, Malassi is doing quite well. I mean, I already knew it was a good yo-yo, but obviously I didn't think it could hold up maybe with the um, Amazon. Which is also an amazing yo-yo pre-hard mode. Maybe we could even uh, try and farm out for the Cascade when we get uh, obviously enough tools to go down there in the future. Maybe we should farm that out. I don't know if that's really worth it, but it might be. So you never know. I mean, the Amarok's worth farming out for, so you never know. Alright guys, I will obviously, like I've said about three times now, meet you when we find our corruption. Obviously we are right next to the jungle now, so yeah, see you in a minute guys. Ooh, the traveling merchant and also look what I find my first ever hollow tree of this series on uh, Terraria which is quite nice let's just go through here see what we got hopefully we'll get the big three otherwise known as all three of them uh, that's literally never happened to me before uh, and the painter everyone's coming through oh we got all three yeah, boy, I don't even know if that's maybe just a definite thing now, but I do not know. Let's grab the living wood stuffs, and let's get back out and on to finding the corruption, which will hopefully not be too long. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so literally right after that small little cut there, we have indeed... At long last found our corruption, which didn't take six years or anything. Okay, I want to be careful here, don't want to die. Don't want to die, don't want to die. Dining would be a thing you do in zombies eating, not in uh, this game. Oh, get away from me, eater of souls. No. No cookie for you. And did we really just go the whole way down here? I think we did. We went the whole way down here to realize, to be find or to find that there is nothing here. Unbelievable. Okay, let's hook our way back up here. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cut until I can find one that's actually a proper, um, a proper cavern or crevice. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. We finally managed to get ourselves out of this. Hopefully, this next little um, bit cut or thing in the ground. Hopefully, this one actually leads down to uh, um, you know, down to something we can get stuff from. You know, come on, man. This trip is also unsuccessful. Come on, man. I just want to get down here. It shouldn't be this hard. And we're losing so much health. Oh my god! I will cut. Until we have made it back out and are ready to go to another one. Damn, man. This is actually so... You have no idea how I know what I am right now. Oh my god, um... I truly have no words for what just happened. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna just quickly check what our main man has for us today. Oh, he's got a katana. Oh, oh, that actually be a considerable, considerable upgrade. Stopwatch, DPS meter. All right, I'm gonna buy the katana and the DPS meter. Oh my god, I got a damaged one. Okay, I guess I'm buying another one. 
I bought two so I did not have to deal with the fact that that was going to give me such a bad thing. Oh my god, unbelievable guys, just unbelievable. Unbelievable, right, that is quite unacceptable, Mr. Um, Raleigh. But I just realised I could actually sell my wee manable thing, how much does it go for? Okay, it only goes for 10 silver, but that's okay, because now we got ourselves a katana. And also a DPS meter, which really doesn't do anything else. But, you know, we got it. We got it. Okay, so, I am going to go try and find our thing back again, our corruption again. So, I'll be with you in a minute. See you in a minute, guys. Alright, guys, so we are back in the corruption here once again to try and get ourselves some... Of that goodness. Okay, so these two intersect with each other. Alright, we could be looking good here. Ah, uh, no. Um, this is honestly the worst luck I've ever had with finding the right thing on this corruption world. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not really that annoying. It's just annoying if you miss. Like I just did completely. So, uh, yeah. I, I guess uh, we can go with the exact same logic of I'll meet you when I meet it back up to the top and we're ready to find another one. Okay, that's happened three times now. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Yet another unsuccessful um, trip down. This has been one of the worst corruptions I think I've ever seen. Not only has it been generated weirdly as in, like, where it is, but just it's insane how many times I have not gotten the right thing here like really like insane all right guys i'll meet you when i find it again possibly one of the more successful trips out there i did not fall once which is always nice to see hopefully this final i i swear to god okay yeah there's no point in me even trying to go down there as it obviously is not a proper one this is honestly like I get maybe they're not all going to lead to one place, but I think I'm having like some of the worst luck ever here. This has been horrible. Alright guys, I guess now the next time I'll meet you is when I've actually found a successful one, which hopefully shouldn't be long. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw that on my way down there. Ancient, no way. Yo, that's so good. We found the, we found the shadow scale meal. That's so rare. Oh, man. I'm actually so happy about that. Okay, can this guy just die? Can you can you just die, sir? Oh, dear. The one time I find it. The one time I find it, guys, and I absolutely get shredded to pieces. Ah, this is so annoying. Um... Okay, I guess I'm going back down to try and do this. I will see you in a minute, I guess. Alright, guys. So we have successfully made it down the thing this time, which is amazing. It means we can actually start doing this stuff. So, yeah. Um, I've also brought a bit of dynamite with me. Where did it go? There it is. So there's my bit of dynamite. I don't know why there's a free space there. There's a bit my bit of diamond dynamite. I just I'm making it. I just have it with me just in case we want to get down quicker, which we indeed do. So let's chuck my bit of dynamite down. I'm just gonna put it there, and we'll see how much how much more we have to deal with. Okay, that's not much. I also decided to make some sticky bombs. So, obviously, because we get this 2 vein, we only have to hit one quite close to the edge bit to, um, obviously spawn the dude. Spawn, spawn the bro, um, the Eater of Worlds, we obviously only have to do that when we want to fight the Eater of Worlds. Obviously, I'm not going to fight him yet, as I am. There's absolutely no way. There's no chance I'm prepared. So, we're not going to do him just yet. We're going to maybe do him uh, on episode 6, or maybe, or maybe episode 8. I don't know. We're not going to do him just yet, because... Um, he's not. It's not that he's hard. It's just I feel we moved through that absolute fight like really quickly. I don't want the series to go that quick. Okay, so we got a musket and a vile thorn. Two of the best things you can actually get. Okay, that was nice. It's actually really nice to be got the musket and the vile thorn. And a meteorite has landed. 
Oh, damn. Okay. Well, there's something we can do in the next episode. But unfortunately, guys, I am going to have to end it here for today's episode. Um, I'll obviously try and locate the meteorite off camera. But for now, that will be me. Thank you all for watching. Uh, it's been fun for this episode, yet quite ragey. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much me for this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.